It's Donation Day. I just, I just saw the name of this. Almonds. <laughs> I thought you'd appreciate this one. Yeah. Does it me or does that look more amber and golden? Just then in the sun here. Maybe it's the light. This looks like this looks like it's gold. <laughs> Doesn't it? It is gold. No, but it came from so, it came from Mexico. Like more so. I think you're being influenced by the shiny fiddly bit on the front. No, because I'm looking at it without that. Because I also covered this up. It's like mm. I want to see that. I want to see that. It's too late now. You're mentally in, you're mentally altered. <laughs> no, I've, I've been tainted. Look, look, look. Looks like gold. All right. It's as gold as. No, this is more gold. I'm trying to find one in pairs. Right. It's as gold as. God, son of a. Here, why don't you let me handle it? <laughs> this is a big boy job. I am a big boy. That didn't work at all. <laughs> so tell me. All about right. So the Balmans. This is. Uh, Jose Arteaga. Arteaga or Arteaga? Arteaga. Arteaga, Arteaga not Arteaga. Ar Arteaga. Jose Arteaga, you better give us it. Mister. He drove up all the way, way back like in June, yeah. and dropped this off along with a whole slew of bottles. Yeah. Now, I wanted him to have his magnificent nice. bastard moment. Yeah. Because the next one, we're going to patron Saint Tim. Just like that. But I wanted him to feel like he like had that. both of the opportunities, right? right? <laughs> so, we're going uh, to jump in. Because he's been patient. Him. Like, he dropped this off f four months ago. Oh, dude. What are you doing? <laughs> and we've only just now gotten to it. I'm asking him what he's doing. I know what you're doing. That's magnificent. Just... Yeah. No, that's, that's how far behind this we are. This is why you should put me in charge. Yeah. How, how many whiskeys are we gonna do a day if you're in charge? <laughs> Every single day. Every day's a comparison. Yeah. Day. Okay, so right, this, this is oh, interesting. Yeah. This is reminding me. Just take a smell and tell me what you think. I made a whiskey throwing star. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Oh, Tommy! <laughs> <laughs> Comes out just blood uh, gushing out. Uh, oh, what a funk, there isn't is it? But it's not the it's not this typical no, green. No, it's not green pine funk. It's the funk that I have found in several other budget space side releases. Really? Yeah, which now, is just reminds me of apple juice that went slightly wrong. It doesn't it's 40%. I'm getting more character on the nose than I would. Think of it as slightly sour apple juice. Than I would expect from a 40%. Maybe a little. Like slightly sour juice. Now like, here's the like juice been sitting out for a day. Yeah, here's the funny thing is after I discovered this at Mach 10 on one of these budget ones that my dad bought called Sir Edwards oh. in the plastic bottle. I like Sir Edwards Smoky. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's real smoke flavor. I found that in there and I was kind of tripped out by it. And then I went back and I got a note of it in Monkey Shoulder. Did you? Yeah, which has made me understand why some people really hate monkey shoulder. I like monkey shoulder. Because there was Pull that the monkey shoulder. There was that hint of a monkey mm, shoulder. That's a little thing. sour too. Monkey shoulder. But just smell it. No, we're yeah, glass. no, we do. We have seven more bottles to do. Is it, we're not going to do comparisons it, it on the needs very to be first in thing. In a Glen Cairn for me to it, give it. No, no, you'll get it just from the bottle. This is short shrift. No, not at all. Yeah, because it's not in a Glen Cairn. Nah, you're. You lack subtle nose abilities. Now this is I think we, released only in Mexico. We have proved time and time again that when it comes to expert tasting, you're just along for the ride. <laughs> I know why people show up. So this is a sherry cask finished uh, Balmans, mm -hmm. uh, product of Scotland, and as far as I can tell, only released in Mexico. And when I searched for it, uh, I like it. I've searched for a good hour, and I can't find anything on this other than they have a Facebook page that when you translate from Spanish just says, this is a really good whiskey from the Scottish Speyside region, region and only the best. <laughs> <laughs> it's muy bueno. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and that's really it. I can't figure out, I can't figure out where it's coming from. You know what? Uh, the finish is... Thin and uninspired, but leading up to that, I like the, it's, 
I'm getting like a dusty apple. Yeah, it actually tastes fine. Yeah, it's you know what it is. It reminds me of Spay River, which is a, a house brand, I think, for um, Total Wine. Okay. If you go to Total Wine, you just get a generic Dude. Spay. See this? Are you kidding? See how similar this looks? Yeah. I think it's the same company. Maybe the same company. I think it might be Actually, the same company. Like, yeah. Dude, dude. I'm saying. And it tastes the same. You get like gold in the label. Yeah. And then you got like a colored thing. The Oh, the exact same type of yeah. thing. That I'm you telling you, it's the same company. Okay. I'm pretty sure. And this is, I think, a house brand from Total Wine. So they're doing a Mexico release. Yep. Oh, wait, called, that, they're, wait. that they're calling Balmans. Oh, there's another Spay River back there. Yeah, they have it. a bourbon and a, there's, that's their sherry. You're that's holding the sherry. their sherry cask. And, and the, this is the Mexico release sherry cask. Okay. Should we compare? No. You're no fun. When did you stop being fun? I've never been fun. I know. I'm just... <laughs> I'm telling you that, that was a bad angle to take. All right. So, I was... You know, that's kind of cool to find something we have no idea what it is. But I was way more interested to try the other things that he sent so, us. Hold on. Yes, go do the things. I actually like the taste though. Yeah. I'm not I'm I'm okay with the taste. For a budget whiskey, yeah. I'm it's, I would be fine with it. Absolutely. Uh and then I'm getting The smell is throwing me though. I'm convincing myself there's the slightest bit of smoke in that. Yeah, that could be. It, but probably not peat. It's probably from the barrel. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's, it's not a little bit of charred smoke, but Okay, so this is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. So in Oaxaca, there is a guy who's been making mezcal for generations. That's Mexico again. Yeah. And uh, he decided, you know what? Why not try our hands at whiskey? And so they started picking three kinds of Mexican heirloom varietal corns mm -hmm. and making whiskey at the same distillery. And the cool thing is every time they increase production, every time they grow this distillery, right. they're employing a whole town in rural Oaxaca oh. and feeding families and, you know, they're sure. helping a town survive. Jose Arteaga, you, you patron, patron saint, saint of whiskey. whiskey. All right, now, he sent us one each. Now, you said Mexican corn. Yep, varietals. Are they, varietals. Are they trying to make any kind of specific whiskey or just whiskey? Is it, are they going just bourbon just corn, or just they corn going, whiskey? Just a corn, just corn whiskey. Just corn whiskey. Okay. Right? So, black corn, yellow corn, and white corn. Interesting. Isn't that cool? And Sierra Norte. Yeah. From Oaxaca. Yeah. Now, this is on the yellow corn, barrel 65. Yeah. Bottle 12. On the white corn, this is barrel 117, bottle 19. Mm. So he got us, Jose did an impressive job getting us these. This is bottle 47 of barrel 14 of the black corn. So now let's work our way through the wax top here. Yeah, this is gonna be a son of a just. Yeah, there's really no. Uh, you're gonna need a blade. Wait, 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 we have a blade for you. I got a thing. Yours is significantly sharper than the hack job. No, 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 here. This was a gift from one of the viewers. It's a race. This is way. This is for you. It's a race. I have my own knife. I'm racing. I brought you a knife. I'm racing you. You're losing. How the is race. this a race? <laughs> I don't understand what we're oh. racing for. Dude, I got it. Like, what is the? What's the winner of the race get? The whiskey. But we're both already gonna get the whiskey. No, like. That's no different. You take it home. Oh, no, 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 no. This is staying in the vault. What this is a rare Mexican whiskey that we're probably not going to be able to get our hands on again. So, I'm going to start with the yellow corn. Yeah. Actually, let's get three glasses and we can A-B compare them all. Right. You ready? Yeah. You it's trying like, to create Finley Bits? It's like cheese. <laughs> okay, this one's the yellow. Keep mm -hmm. them in the right places mm -hmm. so we know what's what. This is the black corn. Okay, right up front, can't really tell any color difference. I have an idea for using wax. This is this probably illegal. White corn. What? So, <laughs> you know how Maker's Mark gets really butthurt really quickly if you put wax and you mm -hmm. have it drip down? Mm -hmm. It looks so cool. Mm -hmm. What if you said, screw it, we're not gonna put wax on the neck, we're gonna put wax on the bottom, and then and tilt it over, that and way. then let the whole bottom, so, you know, when it goes back up like this. I mean, it would be pointless. And it'd be cool. It would leave wax things all over the tables whenever no. you set it down. You, you and would it'd have probably like be an uneven set. Wax drips that go up the thing, and it would look 
like badass. And you can have it over the label a little bit. Okay, sure. All right. This okay. Is, this is the white corn. Okay. I'm gonna go yellow. Wow, that has a lot more. Oh wow. Characters. <laughs> I usually get from just a straight corn whiskey. Yeah. Mm. This is. These are approximately ten Ooh. months. Oh, that is funky, man. That middle one. Oh yeah. Woo, Woo dog. The, the black corn. These are serious, man. Whoa. All right. All right. I'm kind of excited about this. This, this one smells a little more wood. Oh, oh man. Oh, this is the white corn is the best smelling. This is um, a campfire that you have poured water all over, mm -hmm. like a day ago. Yeah, just wet ash, wet soggy wood. It really is. Yeah, wet, yellow soggy, corn. Now he ash. said caramel toasted corn and popcorn in his notes. Really? And I'm not getting any of those things. I'm getting. Okay, what are we? What, what order? I am getting that sweet corn note, but it's just wet. So it just smells like wet. I'm excited that it's a new, like immediately, obviously unique and different whiskey. Than oh, what we've ever. I had. like the taste of that. You know what's weird about this is the nose and the taste are both reminding me of Mexican spirits. They remind me more of mezcals and tequilas than they are of whiskey. It's like a, like a peppery spice. Yeah. About the whole thing. It's nice. Well, no, there's this is the kind of thing. I like the taste. I don't like the smell. Uh, this is you ever find like a it's it's so in your backyard there'd be like a bucket and there'd be some sticks sticks and stuff in there mm -hmm. and they've just been sitting in this bucket of water for a week. Ah, you're smelling that? Yeah, I'm smelling that, and even on the taste, I'm getting some of that. <sighs> some people would not like they couldn't stomach that at all. Because it's not sweet, it's not friendly, it's a very organic type Ooh, of vibe. That black corn. It's a very organic kind of. Um, now he says banana on this, and I get, I do get like way overripe bananas. Really? Yeah. This just feels like a damp backyard. The white, the yellow corn, I mean, is a damp backyard. Ooh. Whoa. So the taste on that, that's almost. Is that heavy overripe banana flavor, but with an ending of vanilla icing. I'm getting stale popcorn butter. Yeah, ending of vanilla icing and, uh, which is what he said, Wait, and I what, totally agree. Which did he say was popcorn? He, no, the first one. No, I no, said, no, 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 I said this one, yeah. This one is popcorn. This one is buttered popcorn that's stale, it's been sitting out. Now, he's doing this in copper pot stills. Just classic. Pot still whiskey. That's so interesting. Isn't it? Yeah. Okay, into the white corn. Okay. This one smells the most approachable of the three. This is the definition of a funky adventure. Yeah, it is. This is a funky adventure whiskey. Oh, yeah. I'm in. My favorite is the white corn. But the taste is this weird, slightly rubbery, Every single one metallic... Of note every single one of these is dry yeah they all have a really flat dry palette yep. they all finish dry yeah they all have these heavy herbal earthy notes yeah or like just super and organic earthy wet deep all of them yard. have that slightly metallic tinge to it yeah. but they all taste different that's a funky adventure man. isn't that cool yeah yeah, yeah. they all, all right. taste different very different super um, different. yeah all right, what's the next one so we got one more Okay, uh, but not from him. He also sent us uh, three. Kind. He also sent us three mezcals of weak ass. But I already took them home. I have a knife now. Let's see what they taste like blended. Wow, what's weird about this is the darkness to this mm. looks almost black, not gold. Right? Like when it hits shadows, it's black instead of this nice amber. Isn't that weird? I mean, every time I go to the nose, <laughs> it's surprising. Wow! <laughs> that amped all three of it them did. up to it, Mach 10. It did. It didn't round off anything. It just... Oh. Man, it is smoky, mm -hmm. corn candy. Yeah. Before we get into the last one... Whoa! <laughs> this is so weird. Before we get into this last one, we should remind people we're about to get into quarterly challenge. So, uh, the quarterly challenge is coming up. And for people who say, why do a quarterly challenge at all? Why do a dry week? Look, it's it's a check-in. Yeah. We do as a community. Yep. 
And, uh, and that's why next week you'll see us reviewing all things that are non-alcoholic. Non-alcoholic. Uh, if you want to know why we do quarter view challenge, we're going to link it right up here. All right, this one is a long-awaited whiskey. Mike Richardson. Yeah. A duality. He's a magnificent bastard. Mike Richardson, you magnificent This is from an Atlanta distillery. And I'm really interested to try this. Okay. They are using classic copper pot still, and they're doing double dis uh, still distillation. Um, classic ASW distillery in Atlanta, right? And I just kind of like their whole vibe from roaming around their site and reading the story of them. But this is a weird whiskey. Hold on, hold on. No, I know you're you, at first blush. What you're gonna say? Hmm. Okay. But, oh, yeah, but, but, there it but, is. But, 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 wait for it. I encourage you, lean into it. Okay. Dig a little deeper. Okay. Lean in. What Rex is saying is, at first blush, all I picked up in the nose is that same green piney note. Right. That I tend to find in people using certain cooperages for their barrels. Right. Or for having it too young. Now, lean into that. Give a, give a little bit more of a whiff. It, <sighs> I don't know, man. No, I'm saying... What's behind it that you're finding? I'm more of a rich oakiness. It's less sour, that's yes, for sure. Yes, less, less of the green sappy sour. Yeah. The very first moment is like, bam, that's what hits you. But then that dissipates, and then you get into the deeper, richer oakiness of it. Yeah. It's very dusty, but it needs to be. You keep... It's like keep 50 it to 60% that sappy sour note. You gotta keep... It's not just a little... Little sniff, you keep drawing it in, drawing it in, drawing it Anytime in. Anytime I smell these, I just remember my first experience in pine tree forests. Which was? Where the pine cones are falling down and you pick up and you do a pine cone war. Oh, was this where the... Where you're tagging people. Was this the... <laughs> <laughs> I thought we weren't going to tell that story. I thought... <laughs> No, this was when we went to Longview when I was growing up. My first chance into the East Texas piney woods. Okay. And we had all these pine trees and the sappy pine cones that fall. No. And that's what I'm reminded of every time I smell a whiskey like this. Okay. Now this is, are you ready for it? 50% peated Scottish malt. Shut your face. Or, or malted barley. Shut your face. And 50% malted rye. Malted. So it's half rye, half barley, which is, I think, maybe one of the only... I've never heard of whiskeys it. like this I've never heard on of the planet. Never ever heard of peated Scottish stuff and then And it's not rye. I'm not sure it's Scottish. It's just a I think they peated the barley so it's a peated malt. But is it Scottish peat? I don't know. Oh, don't know. It could be that they bought it from Baird's or somewhere like Baird's where they're getting that heavily peated Scottish malt. Uh, no. but they said that there's a peat in the malt. Now keep going back. Keep going back. I just, it's just reminding me right now of, I want to turn right here before I reorganize I get, the whole vault. And now it's down there. Wait, you're reorganizing again? No, no, no. It's since the last time. I just keep getting this, dude. Smell that. You took it away too soon. No. I get a flash of cinnamon and walnut. You keep drawing it in. You get past that greenness. Well, I see, yes, that's, that's, yeah. that's the first That's blush. what I was thinking of. That's, uh, yes, that's the first yeah, blush. I, I just keep finding nah. wiggle, wiggle whiskeys, pine heavy. That's, yes, and I knew that's what you were going to get. But beyond that, after that initial first impression, you keep going deeper, there's a twinge of cinnamon and walnut in there. Okay, so the oakiness has uh, some characters, a rich oakiness. As I'm giving it time to open up, it's changed for me to black tea. Yeah, I can see that. You see what I mean? I can see that. Now, you ever keep you ever keep tea in the fridge in like just a container? You know, you make tea and yeah, always have it in the fridge. That's all I drink. Not, uh, but make it yourself. Well, someone at my house makes it. Yeah, that's what I mean. Not like a store bought container. Yeah, I mean you made it in a little jug. I and... grew the tea leaves and dried them out. And... Yeah, do it yourself. Anyway, right towards the end of tea being good, because it will go bad. It, it takes a couple of weeks. Uh, ours doesn't last that long. No, no, it usually doesn't. But when tea, black tea goes bad in the fridge, mm. it smells like black olives. Really? Yeah. You open it up and you're like, oh, it smells like black olives. This is bad tea. <laughs> right? So this is tea that you've just made. You know what else I'm getting? Heading towards black olives. 
I'm getting the tiniest bit of, I'm getting those so many more notes. I haven't notes. even tried a sip yet. Neither have I. I'm getting so many more notes out of this than, I, than you are. I'm getting the tiniest bit of nutmeg. A little cinnamon, a little nutmeg. No, dude, it's you're rich. You're searching. Rich I'm not searching, it's there. Dude, I can't help it if I'm better than you at this. I'm not gonna hold myself back. <laughs> that's, that's not what the people want. <laughs> For Rex to handicap himself. Right. <laughs> who does that help, Daniel? Really, who does that help? <laughs> so now I'm getting a black tea that's a sweet tea. Oh, that's phenomenal. Yes, all of the things that I was See, there it is. Yes. It's in the taste. No, in the nose, if you know what you're doing. No, but I'm still being dominated by that pine note. Oh, man. Now, oh, there we go. As the whiskey dried out and left, that ashy mm. note showed up in the finish. Wow, that's really good. This has an ashy finish, though. It does. It finishes with the, that, yeah. Does. That's where you realize there was some peated barley in there. Nutmeg, cinnamon, rich oak. Ah, ah, ah. I really like that. 44%. I'm the wrong market for this whiskey. I am not. Yeah, we're usually pretty close on the same page. But no, we diverged on this one pretty dramatically. Yeah. I just can't get past that thing. And then it leaves, uh, it leaves your tongue feeling fizzy, like you just finished a carbonated drink. Mm hmm Springy. That's good, yeah. That's good. So. I'll if you don't want it. What are these? No, I, I can't do it. Oh, Benjamin Ross sent us those. Benjamin Ross also sent us a couple of bottles of wine, which are at my house. Really? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a <laughs> They're actually in my office. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> uh, your, your moochiness is like, oh my god. No, no if we can't review it on the channel, you must I set it aside. In your house, apparently. Check oh. this out! Oh, nice. Is These this... are bear and eagle stoppers. Does it pour through here? It does! Dude! It's also, it's not a stopper, it's a, um, it's an aerator. Does it fit this? Yeah, it's an aerator. Mm -hmm. It totally fits! <laughs> Dude, Benjamin <laughs> Ross! Pouring it from the wind! Yes! From the eagle! Awesome. From the mouth of the eagle! <laughs> what? Oh! <laughs> That is oh, so that's good. amazing. <laughs> Here, have the rest of mine. Okay, dude, don't mind if I do. I'm gonna find one for mine. Oh, super cool. Thank you. You ready? Yeah, yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it is a much more dramatic flow from the bear mouth than it is from the eagle mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Yours is a little more fancy. Mine's a little more like a bear throwing up in like my glass. The bird pours it with a pinky. Yeah. <laughs> Who knew? The All bear right. was a, the bear was a slob, <laughs> and the eagle was the snob. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, dry week starts yes. tomorrow. Don't forget about the dry week and all those. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. Do we have anything to review? Uh, yeah. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. If you drink, may you drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw on a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.